channel um, today I'm going to be showing you how to make two different kinds of overnight oats um, I've been wanting to try these for a very long time and I've seen different people making them and I figured it's a really easy way for meal prepping and then to have healthy food ready for when you are hungry and want to grab something that's maybe not a healthy choice this gives you that option um, and they're also um, Weight Watcher friendly so if anyone does Weight Watchers you don't have to be doing Weight Watchers um, one is a five-point um, breakfast and the other is a six and I'll show you those. So there's two different kinds that I'm going to show you. They both are sort of similar. Hello. Um, Max wants to say hi. Hi. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> You're so cute. Um, I'll show you the ingredients. Um, they're both very healthy like I said. Um, so the first one I'll be making is this one here. And then I could have a few of these ingredients that I use with these items. So I will um, go through those and tell you exactly what I am using. So the first one I'm going to do is called Overnight Oats with Pecans. Um, and I'll just go through like what items you need as I'm making it. Um, so I do have, I did clean two mason jars to put these in. So what you're going to start with is a quarter cup of oats. I just have regular old-fashioned oats. So... Grab one fourth cup of oats, put those in, and then you're going to need a half a cup of, you can either use unsweetened almond milk or skim milk. I have both, for this one I am going to use the almond milk, so I just have this unsweetened almond milk. So you need a half cup of that. Slowly but surely, I just don't want to spill it. So that's that so far. And then you're going to need a quarter of a banana. And you just a sliced banana, so here's my banana. I'm actually going to put, it calls for a quarter of a banana, but I'm going to put the whole thing in. It's too much fruit. I mean, that's, it's fine. And then you need a half a tablespoon of chia seeds. So I just have like a container of them I got in the produce department. And then you see me looking down. I just I write everything down in my recipe book so so that I keep it for next time. Um, and then you need a half a cup of blueberries. So I'll just use my half cup. I have them over here. I just washed them off, so that's what I'm doing. So there's my half cup of blueberries. Okay. That's what you got so far. And then four to five drops of any kind of a sweetener. I just happen to have this um, pure um, stevia. It's a zero calorie liquid sweetener. I just had it already. 
So you're gonna add four to five drops. That just helps sweeten it up. There's a right there if you want to grab some. And then you're going to need, I'll help you in just a minute, okay? A pinch of cinnamon, which I'll just sprinkle some in here. And then, let me see something here. And then um, you're also, so you'll, you'll put the lid on. I shake it up so this is what it looks like and then um, in the morning when you go to eat it you just add one tablespoon of chopped pecans on the top and you're done so um, this one is five points if you're doing Weight Watchers and I mean that's a good that's a lot that's a good breakfast so it's only five points so that's the first one all right, so for my second one, it is called Blueberry and Chia Seed Overnight Oats. Same idea as the other one, but it doesn't have like the banana and it has yogurt in it, so you'll see the difference. I'm just trying to try out some different ones. So um, I have my jar again. Um, so you're gonna start with half a cup of oats. Is that what I had with the last one? I'm just comparing these. The other one was a quarter, okay. So this one's half a cup of oats. Just dry this out since I have almond milk in there. Okay. So you're gonna do half a cup of oats. And oats are really filling, so it's a really good option for breakfast. Alright, so that's your oats. And then you're gonna use a half a tablespoon of chia seeds. So again, these. And then you're going to need two tablespoons of skim milk for this one. You could substitute that for almond milk if you want to. Oops, kind of by my tablespoon. Alright, so two tablespoons of skim milk. Then a half a cup of fat-free yogurt. Um, I bought the fat-free Greek yogurt. Um, let's see here. I know I just got plain. So we need a half a cup, which I actually, I'm just gonna use this to help measure this out here. If you can see what I'm doing. You can use regular yogurt. I just I prefer the Greek yogurt for this. Actually, I think this might be the, pretty much the container. And I haven't tried these yet, so I will let you know which one I like better. Yeah. So really, I'm just using that whole container, so you don't have to waste any. You're gonna need a half a cup of blueberries. Hold on, Hannah. What do you need? Hold on. So there's a quarter cup. I dropped one. And another quarter cup. So that makes half a cup of blueberries and then one teaspoon of honey and that helps sweeten this one up so one teaspoon where's my teaspoon one second. I'm gonna 
getting close to dinner. So half a teaspoon of honey. And then that is all for that one. So you're just going to shake that up really good and you are done. That is what you got so this one here which is a really good amount too is only six points if you do Weight Watchers just so you know if you don't do Weight Watchers they're still really good for you so I will let you know how these both are um, if you have any recipes that you know and recommend um, I've heard of a really good peanut butter banana one I want to try but um, yeah that is all for these they're really simple to make really good if you're into meal prepping um, and like I said, it's really easy for something on the go. So that is all. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel um, and join our little family. Thanks so much for watching. Every single day.